Well, turning now to new developments on the peninsula. Lawyers in the Scott Peterson case are arguing over stipulations on a new DNA test on evidence in the case. This in a continued bid for Peterson's lawyers to try to win him a new trial. NBC Bay Area's Ginger Conajero Saab is live inside the courthouse. She actually listened to the arguments as they were actually playing out. And Ginger, today's hearing really revolves around testing of just one piece of evidence we're talking about here. But lawyers, are, I understand, are battling out the specifics. That's right, uh, Laura and Marcus. And from what we uh, understand, they've taken that conversation behind closed doors. Now, this after the judge has uh, expressed her concern about the two original laboratories that were suggested or given as options to perform this new DNA testing on one specific piece of evidence. Now, a defense lawyer that we uh, uh, spoke with outside of the case said this doesn't surprise her. Uh, the choice of a lab is very crucial. Uh, it can be impactful to the process and eventually possibly the outcome. Now, the piece of evidence in question is duct tape that was found on Lacey Peterson's pants uh, during her autopsy. Peterson's lawyers from the LA Innocence Project argue that the duct tape contained human DNA that could point to someone other than Peterson, who was convicted two decades ago of killing his pregnant wife, Lacey, and their unborn son. Prosecutors have pushed back, saying evidence was already tested years ago. Now, the judge ruling back in May that she will allow testing for this one one piece of evidence among over a dozen items that were originally uh, suggested to be retested. Defense attorney Paula Canny says today's hearing is in some ways mundane, but it is crucial because where you test, she says, can differ in access to oversight and testing capabilities. The defense is just, you know, taking baby steps to get to their ultimate destination, which is you know, to establish that Scott Peterson was wrongfully convicted. So there's any number of ways that can do it. DNA is the most powerful and it's the thing that we hear the most and it's the most scientific. But yes, each of these things could possibly lead to a new trial. Now, we were anticipating a decision from uh, the judge uh, with regards to uh, the laboratory. It is taking a little bit longer than we initially expected. Now, moving forward outside of uh, this hearing, there will be another hearing next week that will have to do with the discovery of evidence. And we'll continue to follow the story, of course, both on air and online at NBCBayArea.com. Yeah. In Redwood City, Ginger Conajero-Saab, NBC Bay Area News. All right.